the year 1995, and Collingwood is abandoned and in ruins, with Carolyn and Quentin both gone mad. This is what Barnabas Collins and Julia Hoffman find when a disturbance in time brings them to this year after their escape from the parallel band. To their amazement, they have seen the ghosts of David and a strange young girl and have discovered that the spirit that rules Collingwood is a ghost whose mere presence corrupts the surrounding air. Stop looking at me that way. Please stop. Stokes, Barnabas. Well, may I ask what you're doing sitting there in the dark? It was still dusk when I came in. I must have dropped off in my chair while I waited for you. Isn't Julia here? Apparently not. I'm surprised you didn't hear me when I called you. Where were you? In the basement? Yes. The far end of the house. See, uh, there was a, um, a flaw in the foundations back in 1970, and... Well, I was curious to see if there was any, any further deterioration. And uh, was there? Considerable. I'm not surprised. Everything here has deteriorated. And what was it you wanted to see me about? I tried to revive Carolyn's memory about the night of the disaster, but with as little success as you and Julia had. I see. Uh, do you have a moment? There are some other things I want to ask you about. Apparently, there are two other ghosts here besides the evil spirit that you mentioned. Do sit down. Oh. 
Why do I get the impression that you're not being completely honest with me, Elliot? But I am being honest. As I told you, I was in Europe when the disaster occurred. I know none of the details. Has anybody reported to you about two children being here on the estate? Children? Yes. David Collins and a young girl. You saw David? His ghost. And the ghost of a young girl. What do you know about them? Nothing. Do the names Tad and Carrie mean anything to you? Tad and Carrie? No, nothing. Well, Julia and I found a poem, a birthday poem, in a playroom at Collinwood, written by Carrie for Tad. Never been any children with those names at Collingwood. Well, I'm aware of that, but but the birthday poem must have had some meaning. I'm afraid, Barnabas, I I haven't the slightest idea what it is. You see, Quentin insisted that David was Tad. And he also mentioned uh, the name of a woman, Daphne. You talked to Quentin? Yes. He talked to Quentin. And now Quentin's going to talk to Professor Stokes. Quentin, what are you doing here? I withdrawn here, Stokes, by an insatiable desire to put my hands around you. No, I can't and kill you. Barnabas. I told you I'd kill you. And Quentin, Quentin, why? Because he failed. He failed. Look around you. You can see for yourself. What does he mean? He killed me. He's mad. Yes. <laughs> mad? Yes, but why, Stokes? Why? Because of you and your phony exorcism. You said that you would rid Cullenwood of the ghost in this house. And what happened? You simply raised his wrath. You had not angered him. None of this would have ever happened. Please. You killed me. Oh, Please. Let him go. Let me get him. Quentin, no! Let me get him! I want to put my hand around his neck! No, you're going to stay here with me. Now sit down. He deserves to die. You've seen what he's done. Well, perhaps he was only trying to do what he could. I just saw Stokes rushing through the woods. What happened? In the woods? Good. I'll find him there. Quentin, what's, what's, what's the matter with you? You better get him another sedative. The only sedative I need is to get my hands around Stokes's neck. I'll be calm for the rest of my life. Quentin, what is it? He said it was Stokes' attempt at exorcism that has caused this real disaster by bringing down the wrath of the spirit on everyone at Collinwood. He failed. Stokes failed. Of course he failed. Everyone will. I can't forget what Quentin said about Stokes' attempt at exorcism. Julia, I'm convinced more than ever that the evil spirit holds the key to everything that's happened here. But he can't be reached. What if I don't want to reach him? 
What if I just want to get rid of him? How? Another exorcism. What if you can't? But I can try, or get somebody else who knows how. Oh, no, it's too dangerous, Barnabas. Believe me, I know what I'm talking about. When he wants to do something, nothing will stop him. How do you know that? What? I said, how do you know that? Oh, because, well, just because of the way he made me feel when I saw him first. No, I tried to explain that to you, Barnabas. But if, if we were, if you were gone, perhaps, perhaps Carolyn would recover and it went in two. That's what Professor Stokes thought, but it didn't work. I can't give up, Judah. I can't. Barnabas. What is it, Judah? Something to tell you. Something important. What is it? It, it happened at dusk tonight. Yes, go on. I was sitting in this room. And what? Nothing. Nothing. It, it wasn't important. I, I just, I, fe I felt the presence here. It's probably my imagination. I shouldn't have mentioned it. That's all? Yes. Julia, you must be careful. Very careful. Especially when I'm not with you during the day. Yes, I will be. Don't worry. Which reminds me, at sundown, where were you? Where did you go? I went for a walk. I felt the presence here, and I... I just wanted to get out for a while. You didn't go to Collinwood, did you? Do you think I'd be that foolish? No, of course not. What was that? Oh, it was Quentin, probably. Why don't you go upstairs and see if there's anything you can do to help me? Do what I can. Come and sit down here with me. I promise to say nothing that will, that will upset you. I don't understand. I feel like my head's going to explode into a thousand different pieces. Maybe oh. Julia should give you more of a sedative. Where is Julia? She says she's gone out. Maybe if I just sit down and don't move. Even my teeth hurt. Where can she have gone? Someone's here. Is it you? Who is it? Who is it? Who are you? Tell me who you are. Someone, someone else is here. Here I saw them. Someone was here. I I heard a sound. Like like the rustling of a woman's dress, and now now the scent of lilac. Who is it? Tell me who it is. And tell me why you sent for me. I know. You're afraid that I'll tell Barnabas that 
I've seen you when we've met. I won't. I swear I won't. Please don't look at me like that. I will never tell. You're sure Quentin won't come down again? Quite sure. He's sleeping. It's dangerous. You should know that by now. I do. He shouldn't be here. You ought to send him back to the institution. What if I told you that I know of a way to cure him completely? I should be very skeptical, if you'll forgive me. What is it that's doing this to him? Devastation of Collingwood? And what happened to the people who lived there? That and the presence of the evil spirit? What are you suggesting? Isn't it obvious? Not another exorcism. What else? Why do you keep looking at me? What do you want of me? Yes. I understand what you want. Yes. Yes. I wish I could persuade you to profit by my terrifying experience. Please, don't do this. And of course, I will speak to Julie before I do anything. As much as I'm against it, let me know if I can be of any help if you do decide to proceed. Of course. Is that you, Julia? Elliot. Julia, are you all right? Yes, you, you startled me, that's all. Who was that with you? Oh, I beg your pardon? I was sure I saw someone walking just behind you. I guess it must be the, the leaves and the shadows. Curious. I, I could have sworn. I'm afraid Colin would works on all our imaginations. Yes. Come, I'll walk you back to the old house. No, no, that's all right. I'm almost there. Thank you. I'll be all right. There was someone with her. I'm certain there was. out like that, but I thought they needed some air. How's Quentin? He's still sleeping. I'd better check. Julia. Yeah? He's suffering so much. And so is Keller. You will help me, won't you? Of course, because I'll do what I can. I've not always been kind to my cousins. There were times when I was even cruel. See what's happened to Collingwood what the Collins family has been brought to. It's a moment that seems almost more than I can bear. You care about them very much, don't you? Yes, they're people that I love. People who have struggled and suffered. Forgive me. Perhaps let's get away from here. Let's try to get back to the time that we live in. What we can do here is watch them suffer. And even worse things could happen. Leave here, doing nothing, knowing nothing. But if we stay, we don't know what could happen. Julia, is anything the matter? Did something happen to you when you were out just now? No. What makes you ask? Well, it just isn't like you to speak like this. Yes. Yes, I'm sorry I mentioned it, Barnabas. Of course we'll stay. And 
what will happen will happen. here and sense your presence. Appear to me. Who are you? Please, I beg you, speak to me. Go! Come back! Speak to me! Come back! She will die. 